All right, today we're going to talk about clamping, a different clamping method for segmented pieces. Uh, I'm a relatively new to, to segmented turning, and you, you look at all the available clamping methods to hold, uh, hold the pieces together. Uh, I don't like rubber bands because they never hold their shape, they're hard to handle. Uh, you look at the traditional band clamp, uh, hose clamp, uh, works great as long as the size of the piece that you're, you're uh, clamping up is, is relatively small uh, uh, to fit within the diameter of, of, of the clamp that's available. Uh, but what, what I've done is, is tried to think outside the box a little bit and, and we're going to use a traditional screw clamp with a locking mechanism on one side, a uh, cam clamp, like a belt buckle, on the other, and then they're attached through the end of the screw clamp through what is a Romex 916 inch uh, staple. Uh, that, that drives in. The nice thing that I like about this is that the banding is relatively inexpensive. If you talk nicely with the folks at Home Depot or Lowe's, they'll give it to you because they just put it in their waste bin. Uh, there's two sizes that you can get. There's a half inch size is the size that you want to use. They also have a 9 16 inch band which they tend to use on lumber but that's too big for the staples that we use. So try to, try to stick with the half inch size. The nice thing is, is that uh, it's very flexible. So depending upon how big a piece that you've got, you just expand out your, ho your, your strapping to, to fit the size that you, that you want to do. So what I tend to do is I'll dry fit first with my segmented pieces to kind of get a rough idea of, of what I need. And then I'll take my band clamp and I'll put it around the piece and draw down the strap to where it approximates the size that I want to have and then I can bring my cam buckle in uh, and, and lock it down. Uh, now at, at this point the jaws are spread wide open uh, so that I can uh, subsequently tighten up on those jaws and then as I do then it gives me the ability to make adjustments, continue to tighten down as, as we go through, and then snug it up nice and firm uh, so that uh, when you're done, you've got your, your piece clamped together. Uh, the nice thing about the nylon strapping tape is glue doesn't stick to it, uh, so that when you're through, you don't have to worry about uh, it getting caught up on a squeeze out that you may have uh, and again it's a relatively inexpensive way to make a very flexible clamp uh, that uh, gives you a, a wide latitude of sizes that you can use in your your segmenting you're only you're only really kind of limited by the uh, the size of the bowl that you're trying to uh, to put together the segment If you're embarrassed about going to your Home Depot to take their scraps off of them, uh, you can buy a, a strapping tape uh, through Amazon. Uh, again, it's a, a half inch nylon strapping tape. Uh, tremendous tensile strength that you can, uh, can, can exert with this. Uh, I think this was $5 for 60 feet. And then I use a, uh, a 9 16 inch uh, Romex staple. Uh, 
A, it's just a little wider than the tape so that the tape, you don't struggle trying to get it through. And, and additionally, the 9 16 the staples are a little bit longer so you can drive them a little bit further into the screw clamp uh, for uh, a secure uh, staple on the end. You have to have a stationary lock on one side. What I found is the, the simplest way to create that lock is to take uh, like a 5 8 inch dowel rod, cut them about an inch and a half long, and then turn around and make a couple of vertical cuts at the other end so that they will slide over the strapping tape as you loop it over to give you a secure grip on, on one side. The bandsaw works nice. So we're going to start off taking our screw clamp. These we happen to got, it's a four inch clamp, screw clamp. Uh, it's a very convenient size to use. Uh, and then what we do at the end is we'll mark where we're going to put our uh, Romex staples in on each of the sides of the screw clamp. Uh, through the center to give it as much meat to bite into as we can so that we don't worry about it splitting out. And what I also do is as I start, after I've marked where the holes need to be, then I'll take and drill a pilot hole uh, with a 16th inch diameter drill bit. So once you've got the holes in there, then you'll just take your, your staple, your Romex staple, and drive it in. So you'll want to leave like a quarter of an inch length to the outside to make it uh, easily to hold. Again, all we've done is, is take and drill the hole, put in the staples, uh, leave them gapped at the end. Now, your strapping tape can come in any form. What I tend to do is use the Home Depot off of their boxes and then as you're sizing the the length of the strapping tape that you need uh, wrap it around your piece that you've got you want to uh, to bind up uh, and then as you do that add about six to eight inches to handle the, the clamping mechanisms on the end Snip your tape off. And then as you, you look at the end pieces uh, with, with the block to secure it, all you want to do is just go through one loop, reverse it, come back through the other side, and that's, that's going to, to, to hold it as you come through the tape. Now, you'll want to feed your tape through the staples from the outside in. So that it's not in, in the way and interfering with your piece that you're trying to clamp. So that now one half of the clamp is locked into place and that provides more than enough pressure uh, on the, the part once you uh, uh, begin to uh, clamp down. And then take the other end of your tape and again feed from the inside out creating your loop and then on that loop you'll then take a cam lock buckle again you can find those on on the internet uh, by a pack of twenty for twenty dollars and then on your cam buckle feed your strap through the bottom of the cam buckle 
with the, the lever being on the top. Take your loop, you wrap it around, wrap it around your rings, pull the loop tight, finger tight, with your hand, and then move the cam buckle up toward the end, and then as you set it, and now as you've got your, your piece in there, and with it open, now you can handle easily gluing up your pieces uh, on your, uh, your board that you're going to set them up on, glue them up, set them in, and then uh, as they're glued, you slowly tighten the screw clamps, adjusting to make sure that all of your pieces fit the way you want to. Your clamp will, uh, screw clamp will be uh, across a joint such, such that you've got full pressure on the board and then you just slowly tighten up the clamp until you get them nice and firm. You've got your piece held in place. Uh, I'll tend at this point to take my hammer, drive my pieces flat against my setup block, uh, and then you set it aside to let it dry. The, uh, again, the beauty is the, the length of the, the strapping tape uh, is, is easily changeable to accommodate whether you're doing a 2 inch diameter ring or a 12 inch diameter ring or a 16 inch diameter ring. You just, you know, you just add length, uh, uh, the overall length of your strapping tape to accommodate the size ring that you have and you get a, a nice uniform pressure all around the block that you uh, block of segmented uh, pieces uh, that you're you're trying to assemble, uh, and and you get a uniform pressure as you go through. Uh, you can creep up on slowly as you tighten it down, so you can make sure that that all your joints line up properly, uh, and then and then finish up by by tightening it up. You're not going to pull the clamps, uh, 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 the uh, staples out, because basically you're pulling at right angles on those. Uh, you're not going to, you're not going to pull the uh, the clam buckle uh, slide through there because the the buckle itself has a knurled ring that it's a uh, bar that it's it's tightened up against, and the the tighter you pull it, the more those dig in, uh, and then again with the, the small dowel that you used on, on the other end with the, with the strap, uh, again, you're not, going to, uh, you're not going to pull that loose. So it's relatively quick and easy to do. Uh, it's very inexpensive. The parts are readily available. Uh, and you have a, a wide range of flexibility as to, to what you uh, what you can clamp up so go out and make some